for authors, filmmakers, entertainment, and all your listening needs. Listen now to Talk Now Radio, where no topic is taboo. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talk Now Radio. This is your host, Royce the Redneck Radio. Listen, I mean, Redneck Radio Man. This is a listener supported radio where no topic is taboo. And I'm going to be interviewing Georgia today. We're going to be talking about vampires and people's obsession with them. And, uh, we're also going to be talking about a product called Glutatone. And I'm going to let her pronounce that. She could probably get it a little bit better and closer to right and pronunciation than I can. But it's something she's been familiar with uh, over the last few months here. So, Georgia, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for asking. How are you? Well, you I'm getting well, better? I think I'm doing better than I have been for a while anyway. As good as I think I can be expected to do other than circumstances. Those <laughs> circumstances are going to change. I swear to God I'm going to find a way to get some longevity to you or max one and watch your body just turn around. Today I'm going to send you a whole lot of links to different um, testimonials and and the product, and you're going to know that you are going to get better, Royce. I mean, absolutely better. Health that you had 20 years ago when you were healthy. I believe it, truly. Okay. Hello? Now, I'm sorry. I was just reading that thing you sent me, uh, Georgia, and it says here, reasons for the vampire obsession scientific research on Glutathon and paranormal research has made it possible to join the dots and discover what's behind the North American obsession with vampires and vampire movies. And I got to say, I had no idea there was a connection until you and me talked about it the other day. And I've been dying of curiosity for you to come on the air tonight and to make that and to connect those dots, uh, dots for us right here and now on the air. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so at age 20, up until age 20, our bodies make glutathione. And if you want to remember it, you just say glue your tie on. You'll never forget it again. And what this is, Dr. Oz has said that the human body makes this in abundance until we're about 20. And what it is, it is the master antioxidant and detoxifier in our whole body. We make it. That's why you've never heard about it. Except we slow down making it between the ages of 20 and 40. And by the time 40 comes along, depending on how bad our lifestyle has been, if we've been in the war and all the stress of the war as a veteran, or if we've been an alcoholic or a drug addict, or if we're trying to do three jobs to support the family, whatever reasons or health reasons, uh, we stop, just about stop making this glutathione. And it's the most important thing that our body does to keep us young and healthy and active. And this wonderful man, Dr. Herbert Nagasawa, has spent 45 years researching, and he came up with a molecular compound. This is not um, a nutritional. It is a molecular compound. And what it does, it enters the cell, and it helps the body make glutathione again. And this Dr. Herbert Nagasawa is 86 years old, And he is living testimony of what this does for him or for people because he's up at 2 o'clock in the morning and in his research lab doing work at the age of 86. That's pretty old to be up in the middle of the night working. You know, 86 years old. He works just about around the clock because he is so driven to give humanity life-sustaining And health, because right now people don't realize we have 700 chemicals in our bodies that shouldn't be there. And I believe one of the things, the reasons why people are so interested in this vampire thing, and of course Hollywood has sexified it, and so it's even more exciting, but I think people realize at a very subconscious base level that they are missing the glutathione they're missing the ability to make the energy to make their cells properly and to have abundant health and i think there really are it's it's sick really you know when you realize that hollywood for instance made a movie a few years ago with robin williams in it and in that movie he commits suicide exactly the same way as he just did do suicide or supposedly did suicide 
And I, I think he was murdered, I really do, so that the Hollywood could take his possessions and put them on open auction, and they're worth millions. Because Hollywood is all about the money. And when I take it a step farther and I join the dots, you can see how Hollywood, it, you know, it controls the population and the masses. It, it makes people think whatever. My um, grandchildren just went to Disneyland and they got Darth Vader there, right? And they've got all these little kids with these supposed sabers that they got to learn how to use. And this Darth Vader, honest to God, is eight and a half, nine feet tall because he's wearing stilts. And these poor little kids are like maybe two and a half feet, three feet tall. And they're up against this monster. And he just, the whole thing, and he's saying, oh, you cannot fight the force. You cannot. And putting into these <laughs> little minds, you know that they can't, they're not in control. But because he's so big, he controls them. And I'm sitting there watching the video because they came back with the video all about this. And I thought, good God, where the hell did Goofy and Pluto and Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse ever go to? Because I am royally cheesed off that my grandchildren would be put through such mind brainwashing that they can't fight the force. Who the H does Disneyland think they are telling my grandkids that one? So whatever happened to Randolph Scott, huh? Yeah, whatever happened to Pluto and Goofy and the just the zany fun stuff and Tweety Bird and Donald Duck. Now it's this Darth Vader controlling these. I'm sure those little kids go home and have nightmares. You know, my granddaughter, she's seven, and I could see like she made one uh, slash with a saber sword against this nine-foot monster Darth Vader and turned around and ran off the stage and Oh, wow. And and I before this, about two months ago, I had her watch this Matilda movie that, can I remember his name, this crazy guy, the little short guy that was in taxi. Oh, Danny De, De, uh, De, DeVito guy? Yeah, he was He was in that movie, right? And yeah. this Matilda, oh, oh, it's so much fun. This little Matilda, right? She has this principal of the school that is this great thing. She looks like she just came out of a Nazi war camp, right? And she's controlling all these little kids. And as Matilda has powers, right? She can levitate things and do all kinds of things with her brain. So I say to my granddaughter, guess what? You know, you just remember Matilda. And imagine Matilda being on that stage with that Darth Vader. She would have sent him flying. <laughs> she started to laugh and the fear was gone. And to me, you know, I I know how Hollywood controls things. Right now they've got this Fifty Shades of Grey. I went with my friend to this movie. I walked out halfway through. I've heard a lot about that movie. It is so nasty. It's glorifying rape, control, manipulation. It's glorifying it, right? Those poor girls that go to that movie, if they go home and they think about it and they think that guy's super cool because he was so rich and everything, because they have allowed that into their brain and have fantasized about that, they are prime victims to go out there and get raped on Saturday night. And Hollywood knows that. So we're glorifying rape. We're glorifying sucking people's blood out and being vampires and all that. Now, the sick part is, for the last 40 years in the Philippines, there is such a thing called the glutathione transfusion. Okay, now we're starting to collect the dots, okay? For the last 40 years, movie stars, sports celebrities celebrities, and the extreme wealthy, the 1%, could go to the Philippines and they could have a blood transfusion of fresh blood with people under 20 that have lots of glutathione in there and it would restore their health and their beauty. This has been going on for 40 freaking years, okay? <laughs> like huh. It's insane because where are they getting these children to, or young people to get these blood transfusions from? Yeah, and then what does it do to the supply for the young people? Do they start aging earlier? Well, I imagine they've got to have, I don't know, transfuse. I don't know. They have to build up, or are they murdered? So they've got this. Like, i got a whole lot of questions going on in my brain, <laughs> okay? Because I know I live here on the highway of tears and over 33 native girls 
on this highway have been murdered, gone missing and murdered. And I don't think it was for sex. I think it was for their blood because the native people eat wild animals. Uh, they hunt, they fish, they eat more organic than the rest of us. And their blood under the age of 20 would be just packed with glutathione. So I have all these big questions wondering, hello, it wasn't for sex after all. It was for further blood. You know, like I, I'm, you know, I, nothing surprises me anymore. And when you think about David Icke, and we both kind of like David Icke, right? Yeah, I'm familiar and with him. He's been saying for years that the British family and Jimmy Seville, who has finally been taken up on charges for his pedophilia, were best friends. And so I'm sitting back here and thinking, what did Jimmy Seville have over the royal family that they would have gone along with this creep? And you know, the last time the Queen visited here, there was a school bus full of Native children that went missing, and it never hit the Canadian media. All hushed up. I found out about that this summer from a radio host in the States that I was doing a radio show with, and he said, did they ever find that bus with those kids? And that was before I even understood about blood transfusions, glutathione. This has all come to me in the last six months. Well, you know, it's, met- sorry to interrupt you, uh, George, but just, uh, it, you brought it to my mind that I read an article by Sir Lawrence, um, David Lawrence, I think it was. Um, no, Lawrence Gardner. That's who I'm trying to think of. You may have heard the name. Uh, he had an article out on Nexus magazine called Starfire of the Gods. And these gods are actually uh, taking the menstrual flow from women and using some process to drink it to keep them young and to boost their magical powers. And I couldn't yep. help, help but wonder if glutathione would have been the starfire of the gods that he's referring to. I wouldn't be a bit surprised that our ancestors watched blood transfusions okay, by the aliens from humans because, yes, maybe they needed the glutathione too that's in the human blood. And I do know that in the pagan rituals, that uh, when women are menstruating, that some of them will uh, collect this blood and give it to their partner to drink to give him more energy. It's part of the pagan rituals. I mean, it sounds awfully gross. (laughs) I just want to take my two little pills in the morning, two little pills at lunch, that this wonderful man that uh, spent 45 years researching glutathione and trying to find and has succeeded in finding a thing called ribosteam so that we can just take two pills. And it's not got anything to do with blood. It's, it's a, a scientific thing called ribose and lelcysteine that they've managed to put together in a molecular compound so that it enters our cells again and helps us make our glutathione again. And when that happens, our bodies revert to around 20, 25 years of age. Our hereditary diseases start to fade away, and we have the strength and the energy of when we had it, when it was real in our body at 20. Regular fountain of youth. For me, yeah. For me, it's reverse the aging process. Number one, I never drank or smoked or did drugs. Stayed away from doctors because I don't trust them. And I'm a nurse. I'm not an RN. But I've spent 45 years in nursing, and I've watched so many patients believe everything the doctor has to say and take all these pills they give them and then get sicker and sicker and die. I've watched it for 45 years. So I'm not impressed with our medical situation the way it is right now. It's, it's not healthy. Well, you know, I read an article just yesterday about a lady who's got a book out about the dangers of um, Rx Pharmaceutical Medicines. It seems this girl used to be a sales rep for Rx Pharmaceuticals, and they had uh, taught her, and she was actually doing what she was taught, how to play down the dangers of these drugs when selling them to the doctors to make them more enticing to the doctors so they wouldn't be so afraid to buy them because of their dangers. But what had happened evidently is she had a niece that had somehow got labeled with uh, depression that they started giving her medication and, uh, you know, it progressively ended up getting worse, I think it was, until finally the girl that ended up caught catching herself on fire and killing herself 
and oh. she swore to honor that her niece's memory by revealing the truth about these drugs. Mm-hmm. There's people like myself coming out all the time and saying there are better ways and better answers. I mean, Dr. Um, Herbert Nagasawa is 86 years old, and he is living proof that what he has researched and created with his ribocene, he's 86 years old, and he's up at 2 o'clock in the morning in his lab doing research. Do you know any other 86-year-old men that have the fortitude, the strength physical, or the mental strength to be doing that? Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> Never heard of it. When I was growing and, up, I knew a man that was uh, 90 years old and still mowing yards for a living. Well, there you go. See, there's the odd few that for some unknown reason continue to make that glutathione, and they're called, gen- what is it, um, there's a term right now, it's slipping me, um, centurions. They're called centurions, and they have in their system as much glutathione as the people that are 25 or 30 years old. For some unknown reason, they can smoke, drink, do, you know what I mean? They just keep making that glutathione. It's it's uh, just like some people can stand up and sing opera and never had a lesson in their life. It's just a, a fluke, I guess, and it happens, right? You know, some people can draw beautiful pictures, and that's beyond me, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a gift when if someone actually is able to do that on their own. But uh, Dr. Herbert Nagasawa has found a way after years and years of research. And this man is not just any ordinary science researcher. He and his team were the ones chosen by the U.S. government after 9-11 to make the three minute anti-cyanide pill that if they were very concerned after 9-11 that the terrorists would try to cyanide the subways and his team with him the leader were picked to make the anti-cyanide pill and they did it so we're talking about the elite of scientific researchers here that has created this and his company that he is part of is called max international and it, it is totally awesome to be part of this, and anyone can be part of it. In Canada, you, you join for $49. For a year, the next year, it's $25. Um, that's all it costs to get in, and you order the Celgevity or the Max one, and it's around $100 a month. For me, I don't take blood pressure pills anymore, no more water retention pills, not on any medications at all, and... I mean, it saved me off right off. But the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. I apologize for that. I was trying Goodbye. to get that. Are no you worries. still with me? I was trying to get that Sorry, listener in. She called while you were talking, and I was trying to add her in so she could hear the show. I'm, I apologize for that. Oh, no worries. Anyway, go ahead. No Where worries, Royce. Things happen. See, I've got all this wonderful nutrition. Nothing, well, virtually nothing upsets me anymore. <laughs> my nerves are as calm as can be most of the time and the mood just wonderful mood uh, happy 24 7 am i still on the show oh yeah you're st- you're still with us you know, okay so i'm looking here at age 20 okay uh we slow down making this glutathione and glue your tie on you'll remember it now and at age 40 we just about stop and then all the hereditary diseases start happening and that's why people hate turning 40 because they subconsciously know what's going to happen right and hollywood i'm going to get back to the fact that hollywood understands all about this glutathione thing because of the blood transfusions their actors and actresses have been getting from the philippines like it's a big industry in the philippines this glutathione transfusion um system there it's big big money to do it But I'm just questioning where they get in the blood, you know, because you're not going to want somebody over 20 because they don't have very very much of it in there either. So I'm just looking at this. But, yeah, I'm getting back to this Jimmy Seville, uh, this pedophile that David Icke has told us about. For 24 years he's known about it and tried to tell people. And I'm just wondering. With that school bus going missing with all those native kids, I just want to shout from the mountaintops, if you're native and you're on a reservation, you protect your kids. 
for God's sake, they are at risk. That's that's one thing. Whether it's Canadian or the States, you just don't put them on buses to go see rich people. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, I you just know? added that uh, caller in, so she should be listening now. Oh, wait, what? I was just letting Georgia know I added you into the uh, show, so you are you can hear the show now, right? On what? You can hear the show, right? Can you hear me in like, Georgia? I, well, I can hear you. Georgia? Okay, I, I just stopped talking. I can hear Georgia. To, you can hear yeah, Georgia? I'm, yeah. Glad you checked. Where are you calling from? Uh, am I live? Okay, are you in the San States Jose. or are you in Canada? Where are you? San Jose, California. Oh, okay. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Are you on like a radio station or no? This is an internet radio station that you dialed into. Oh, okay. And it's called TalkNowRadio.net. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, you, we're just, you can listen at the web page at talknowradio.net as well as li- on the phone. Okay. I don't have a computer, so I'll call. Oh, oh well, this works. Okay. Here's How many does. people are talking to you? <laughs> oh, well, that's because I'm on Skype. I don't have any means of actually technically putting you on hold, so I just add you to the conversation and let you listen. Oh, okay. And if you've got a question... No, we're here. Yeah, just throw it out there. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Anyway, Georgia, um, you were talking to us about Seville? Yeah, Jimmy Seville for 24 years, maybe longer, but David Icke, as as far as I know, it's 24 years, that he's been coming out and saying that this man was a pedophile. But I'm kind of wondering just what, what, he had an ego off the moon. He was a celebrity. He would have been very aware of those glutathione transfusion um, treatments in the Philippines, and I'm just wondering what else he got up to with these kids when they went missing and under his, his uh, well, kidnapped by him. What else did he get into with these kids? Maybe it wasn't sex, but just wanting blood transfusions from them and covered it up with sex so that nobody would know. You know I, I'm really questioning, because why would the royal family be buddy-buddy with such a horrendous creep. You know, I heard from Lawrence Gardner, who I was telling you about earlier, that the royal family carries on the tradition of the star fire. So they they, they get the menstrual fluid and the uh, blood from the women and using it to make their uh, longevity potion, I guess you'd call it. But this is supposed to give them longer life and it was supposed to increase their spirituality and, uh, you know... I make them uh, healthier in that, basically. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the Satanists aren't into that. And from what my research I found is most of Hollywood, okay, a good portion, are into Satan worship. You know, we, we sit back and we watch the Globes and we watch all these fancy shows they put on. The symbolism in those shows is incredible towards Satanism. If you look at the studio, like the, the presentation for these different events, it's incredible how they're pushing it in your face, you know, uh, who exactly they are. Like, I mean, the fact that with Robin Williams, they had him make a movie two years ago, I believe it is, where he committed suicide exactly the same way that he ended up committing, supposedly committing suicide here a few months ago. You know, and, and uh, God, the, the cartoon show Family Guy even talked about it before Robin Williams did it. I, I don't know quite all the, but I do know that did take place. And it's happening not just to Robin Williams, but it's happened to other movie stars that supposedly committed suicide, that it was mentioned beforehand by the uh, Hollywood and that that group of people. So I'm it, not surprised. Oh, In fact, I'm not surprised at all. Now, I got a link here that I'm going to share in my chat room for uh, anybody out there listening. 
that's to the Starfire of the Gods um, mag. Uh, I mean, an article, not on uh, Nexus Magazine, but this is that Bible uh, Apocalypse, I guess you could uh, pronounce it. Um, if y'all are interested in Georgia, I'll share this with you on Facebook as soon as I can get a break here to get to your Facebook page. Uh, listener, I'm not sure how I can share the link with you, though. Well, she can go to my Facebook, which is Georgia Love Now, and she can friend me. Georgia Love Now is my Facebook address. Well, she, she said she didn't have a computer. Oh, <laughs> oh the library. Lots yeah. of computers in the library. Yeah, she can do it later. Uh, matter of fact, I'll post it to, uh, well, I'll post it to your uh, messages and you can put it on your page or I'll post it on your page, one of the two. So. Yeah, does, either way. Okay. But I, 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 I think all of this here is connected is what I'm getting at. It, you know it, people- it sounds very, very, very much alike to me. It sounds like the same animal, different names, different times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when, my concern is when people start fantasizing about things, okay? When they start fantasizing about vampires and all of that, um, you know, when are they going to do, do it themselves? Because what your mind dwells on is what you'll do. Um, you know, they know there's no cure for pedophiles. There is absolutely no cure for these people. And I can't help but wonder... Um, you know, the kind of warpness that goes on with the different people. Like, they fantasize about doing it until they actually do it, right? Um, this is everything from women that watch soap operas and all the couples are cheating on each other. Well, the next thing you know, the dolly goes and does some cheating too. Because we are people that copy what we think about, right? We, we follow through. It's just a matter of time. They had... Um, some research done where they set up uh, scenarios where people could act out their fantasies. And what the researchers have found is, yeah, when they act out their fantasies in pretend, it's only a matter of time when they will go and do it for real. So I really, when I think of Hollywood pushing this uh, obsession towards vampires and making it so sexy and glorified, I'm thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> well, I think the same phenomenon is true of music that is a TV. It gets into people's spirits, it gets into their minds, and it becomes a part of them. They identify with it, and then they end up doing it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, music, especially the, some of the rap stuff, because it's so repetitive, it's like hypnosis. And yes, this is serious stuff. Like we have to watch our minds as well as we watch what we take in to what we eat. You know, I, I'm, I can't afford to eat organically, but I do watch what I eat. And, and I'm very, have always been very careful of what I eat. Um, and it's the same thing with our minds. We have to protect our minds from the crap that's being sent at us. I went to watch this Fifty Shades of Grey and I could not believe that that Hollywood dare to glorify rape, torture. I, I just, it blew my mind. I left before the torture started. I left where this 40-year-old guy is victimizing this 18-year-old girl that's a virgin and innocent and a real sweet spirit, and she had no idea what she was dealing with. And I see so much of that where older men think that they've got to control a young girl. And you know what I think it is? I think they can smell the glutathione on, on the younger girl, and that's what's drawn them to them is the smell of youth, which is glutathione. Do you think maybe the um, that's what draws vampires to people for their blood, is they smell the glutathione inside of the blood? Well, yeah. But, I, mean, I mean, they say that vampires <laughs> have to actually have blood to maintain their life force, and I'm assuming it could be the glutathione uh works for them the same way it would work for humans, in other words. I don't know if there's exactly vampires with teeth that go fangs on your neck, but I think there is blood transfusions that are sure going on all the time and that people go missing for their blood, that the transfusion takes place and then they're discarded because they need the live, fresh blood. I don't think it's just going on in the Philippines. I think it's epidemic, and especially with the wealthy. 
There could I think be they, possibly I, right here in the United States. I think medical it's going practitioners on. that are making this available to the public under the table, and it's just not widely known. I think so. Just like there are body part banks where people can order a kidney or a liver or whatever, I think these blood transfusions are going on in North America and over in Europe. And it's the wealthy, the elite. When we have missing children and missing people, I really want to know what's really going on. I know there's no hope and ever hoping the police might want to find out because they don't. It's not in their mandate. That would be way off the charts for them to look for that. The only person would be the mentalist, maybe. <laughs> Does that ever make you wonder what happens to kids' blood when doctors have it drawn? Well, that that's um, that would be just discarded because it would solidify, right? It wouldn't be fresh. But a, a, a blood transfusion from one person to another while that person is still alive, that's fresh blood. And that's what the Philippines with their glutathione transfusions that's been going on for 40 years, I think it's going on a lot more than we've got any idea. And so I'm blowing the whistle. And I think people in power, government officials, wealthy people, think nothing. They think they're superior. Like, I mean, we've got the Georgia Guidestones, where it says they want 500,000 people on the planet and 80% have got to go. Eliminate them. Well, with that kind of mindset, do you think they'd have any problem of grabbing a person and doing a blood transfusion? I don't think so. Hmm. And, and I mean, the Georgia Guidestones is right up there, and it's protected. Well, I don't know if you know about it or not. Oh, yeah, I'm it, familiar it, with the Georgia Guidestone. But I was just wondering, is there somewhere that you can tell people online to go look to if they want to learn more about glutathione? Yeah, they can contact me at Georgia Love Now on Facebook, or they can email me, GeorgiaLoveAuthor at gmail.com, and they can check out my book, Escape from Manhattan, and that they can buy from Create Space from Amazon. They just go to Create Space, Escape from Manhattan, and order my book. Now, this information isn't in there, but there's a lot of other really good information in my book. I've got to get with it and get my second book done so this information is in there. But um, I've just been so busy marketing and advertising and doing radio shows that I just haven't had a chance to get <clears throat> finish that book. But if people have to know, and, and the media will never tell them what's going on. It's shows like yours, Royce, that get the real news out there. And so when people hear this, for God's sake, share it with your friends. Make it go viral on YouTube because we don't get the truth whatsoever from the media. Well, the media, they have to uh, appease advertisers. Exactly. So they'll never talk about the truth on anything. I mean, they they say the wrong thing and the wrong company don't like it. They just pull the plug on the funding, take the bits yep. to, to another media outlet that uh, do it the way they want it done. Well, yeah, in this town where I live, because I am a research astrologer, I cannot advertise on the radio or the newspaper here. It's it's just not possible. The other thing, the 33 women that have gone missing here, the police have made it so you cannot put an ad to get in touch with any of their relatives here. Uh, it's against the law for me to place an ad to meet up with any of the families that have lost their young women. It's against the law. But yet we're supposed to have freedom of speech in Canada. That sounds like a pretty it's, strange law to me. Not allowed to put an ad in to connect with any of these people. Because I want to talk to these people. I want to know, <clears throat> you know, uh, because I have my, I, my understandings that I really would like to share with them because in some ways my family was as affected by some of the people that I know are involved in this as what their families were. And I want to connect with these people, and there's no way I can. So is there a lot of this type of activity going on in Canada, more than in, uh, say, the United States, you think? I don't know. I don't know. I do feel that there's more have not, have and have not. Our society here is very rich and very poor. Our middle class is just about gone here in Canada. Um, well, last time I checked, there's uh, 
parties out there trying to get rid of the middle class here in uh, the United States as well. Well, I think they're more successful here in Canada because um, our politic when we go to vote, seriously, honest to God, um, <laughs> uh, here's the proof. Where I went to um, do the voting, the government, the existing government, hired their people in their government to set up the polling stu- uh, booths and stations and control it. There was no opposition people there in any of them. Like there used to be what they called scrutineers to see that everything was going right. We don't have that anymore. No scrutineers to speak of one in a whole room full. What's to say that it takes two seconds to ship, you know, to slip out the boxes and, and put different ballots in? You know, when the whole damn place is filled with conservatives, and, and they're doing robocalls to keep the other people away, like phoning people and telling them false places to go to vote and et cetera, and pissing off the people, pretending to be like NDP or liberal and, and being abusive so the people don't even want to go to vote. Like what's going on in our elections in Canada? We do not have a free country anymore. It is totally Harper's country. He's a dictator and that's the way it is. Y'all um, still get food stamps or any kind of program like that? Oh, yeah, you get welfare, you get food stamps. Well, I don't even know if it's food stamps. You do get welfare. I mean, they're still feeding us, you know, the poor. But the thing is that when it comes for freedom of speech, and we don't have that much. For instance, we can't get David Icke here. They refuse to let him come into the country. Okay. Um my book is State from Manhattan. There's a woman in Ottawa, I don't know what her name is, but she states what books will come from the publishers from the states and what won't come here. So my book can't be sold in Canada. You have to phone, order it off CreateSpace or phone me or email me for my book because they will not. That, and it's not that radical a book. No, it's not. I read it. It's not, but it can't, this woman in Ottawa declares, she's part of the 1%, declares what books will come in this country and what won't. And you've read my book, it's not, there's nothing sexual in it, uh, it's, um, it does tell about 9-11, the people uh, found out about it and did everything they could to warn the people in Manhattan, and they were successful because Instead of 100,000 people showing up for those towers, only 8,000. So they literally saved 92,000 people's lives that day with their efforts when they got uh, the cassette that warned because the officials wouldn't pay any attention to them. So they did it themselves. They copied and copied and copied these little cassettes and put them out there everywhere. And so the word went out, don't go to work that day. So only 8,000 people went. And out of those 8,000, I believe only 3,000 lost their lives. So and out of that 8,000, how many of them <coughs> got the warning but decided it was ludicrous and decided to ignore it? Exactly, Royce. You're so right. You're so right. They didn't believe. They were the negative Nellies that never want to believe. <laughs> we had a pile of them. <laughs> well, you, know, you asked somebody, though, to miss a day's work in today's uh, world where the economy was so bad and there's so few people can make it as it is, they usually want something they can be pretty sure of before they lose that day's pay. <laughs> yeah. But can you imagine the courage of the firemen and the first eight, uh, first responders knowing, because a lot of them knew what was coming, right? And they still went to work that day. The courage. Oh, my God. The courage to know every day this could be your last. Like that. Like, I mean, to really know that. And I mean, 1,000 people jumped to their deaths from those towers. And what nobody seems to realize, that blocks away, there were vehicles bursting spontaneously into fire. There were fire trucks totally turned upside down. And it wasn't the wind. You know what it was. It was those teams of firefighters who said, we're going to show Spirit World is alive and that we can do something. And those firemen, 
picked up those trucks and turned them upside down so they could prove and scare the hell out of the people that did this to them, that spiritually they were aware what was happening. It's um, Yeah, I, I don't know. I was told that Dr. Judy E. Woods has been murdered. Do you know if she's still alive? Am I getting wrong information? I would have to check and see. I haven't talked to her since I last had her on my show. But I know uh, she had a book out about 911, and she thought that they used a sound device, uh, perhaps a uh, suitcase model one. Oh, well, it was resonance. It was vibration. Yeah, that's what and I mean. It was a uh, sound device resonance. It was resonance and, uh, well, a portable harp, actually, is what I've understood. But it was because the people that phoned into the 911 line, they were talking about people... Uh, disappearing right in front of them, going poof. I think there were no bodies to clean up from that portion of the towers going down. Uh, it was just all dust, dustified. And her book is 800 pages long, full of pictures, FEMA pictures, and she had to have it printed and published in China because she couldn't get it done in North America or Europe. So that says one huge big statement there too. Why couldn't she get it done here? She had to go to China. And it, it's called Where Did the Towers Go by Dr. Judy E. Woods. And so, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure the, if she had died, though, I would have heard something about it. I sure hope that dear lady's still alive. Very I mean, funny. I usually hear when almost anybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, well, that's though. Good. You keep your, your finger on the, the situation there. For God's sakes, that's important. But yeah, I, I, have you got any questions for me? I'm looking at what I sent you and I'm wondering. Well, actually, you were doing such a good job of covering all that before we ever got to it. I was just letting you do it and throwing in stuff that I had as I went along. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking if I but, missed any points. But one of the but things I, I wanted to do was to, to, you know, make sure that we had established why there was a strong link between, you know, the movies and about vampires and the um, glutathione, I mean, you know, do you have reason to believe that uh, that people uh, really understand that there's a need for uh, glutathione because vampires draw blood? I mean, are they making a subconscious connection here that they don't know they're making? A, how, how does that yeah. work? I think people are so physically depleted, they know how weak they are. And it's such a quick transition from about 20 to 30, like they can literally feel their bodies, I wouldn't say disintegrating, but losing, losing the strength. And they can still remember how they felt before 20, right? They can remember how vibrant and the energy they had, right? And I think it's a subconscious thing that when they see these movies, uh, the power of the movies, because Hollywood makes the vampire movies sexy and powerful, Right. And so it's a double whammy for these people. They want to find some way to feel that youthful strength again. And all they need is a, a bottle of Max ATP, which <laughs> if you Google that one with Max International, you'll see that they've found a way to help your body have an energy drink that lasts 14 hours of sustained energy. Um, with the longevity that I take, two pills in the morning and <coughs> two at lunch, it gives me energy from 7 in the morning till 11 at night, and I'm 68 years old. I go full out like I was 20 again. Now, you're talking and about longevity, I mean, and that's the, yeah, product, the product that people need to get if they want their uh, youth restored is longevity, right? So to feel good again, to have their illnesses slowly fade away from them, um, there's so much. If they go and they check out Max International and in every city in the States, and it's in 20, I think it's 20 countries now that it's in, um, you know, you just go and you, you Google online and you find somebody in your area. If you don't want to do that, you can contact me at Georgia Love Now on Facebook. And the cost is nominal. It's $49 to sign up, and it's around $100 a month to have the product. And I'm already saving $150 because I don't need blood pressure pills or water retention pills anymore. Save me 150 bucks right there. Plus knowing with this glutathione high in my blood system again, 
I mean, I've got that energy back. And I mean, Hollywood knows that people are just barely hanging on health-wise. They know this. And they're very, 40 years of the movie stars going to the Philippines for these transfusions, they're fully aware that these poor people watching these vampire movies. But honest to God, these vampires do not have fangs. They do not suck blood out of your neck. If they get hold of you, you're going to be uh, morphine <laughs> and you're going to be on a stretcher with an ID running out of your body to the host, to who they're going to give it to. And you're probably not going to wake up. It's going to be all very clinical with no fangs. Well, you know, people are going to blood banks every day having uh, and giving blood and giving plasma in exchange for money. You'd think they could get it yeah. some of it through that source, wouldn't you? I don't know if the glutathione would go through, because the, they freeze all that blood, right? I'm not so, sure. I don't know if the glutathione would survive that. I think it's got to be, in that instance, it's got to be fresh. I know that you cannot take glutathione orally because the stomach acids will destroy it. It has to be through the ribose and L-cysteine that well, it was first Dr. Herbert Keller and then Dr. Um, I'm getting it wrong. Um, uh, Dr. Keller and then Dr. Herbert Nagasawa. They were both working on this for 45 years um, to develop this. And it's got, they don't use blood as far as I know of any kind. I don't know how they make it and it's patented, so they're not going to tell me. I just trust them, period, that they are making a good source of ribose and l cysteine to help me make that glutathione again. Because I know I can't take glutathione from the health food store orally because my stomach acid will just kill it. But these pills aren't, are not killed by uh, stomach acid. No, it's ribose and l cysteine and it goes straight to the, to the cells and activates the cells so they make the glutathione again. So it's not actually it's, glutathione itself, it's just something that activates the, uh, cell. The cell. To make it again. And like there's Max 1, which is pure ribosine. The cell longevity has got all kinds of wonderful things in it. It's, it's, they've added things to it like, uh, mushrooms, like the, the thing out of the red wine, you know, that we're supposed to drink one glass of red wine. Well, that's in there. There's all kinds of things in there to just make it a powerhouse of a drink. It, it's pretty, uh, of a pill, pardon me. And then there's other things like Max Infuse, which has all the, 20,000 calories of food that's synthesized down into 10 calories, 20 calories. So they've really done their homework, these guys. These scientists really care. And a Dr. Herbert Nagasawa, his biggest concern for years was that his uh, research would just get filed away because the pharmaceutical companies don't want this out there. I mean, people start getting healthy. They're not going to want all their crop. They're not going to want all the pills they want to push. I, mean, I know you, that there's, you, um, there's a lot of med- there's a lot of um, holistic, I guess you'd call it, medicine out there supplements that the FDA and medical science is not fond of, and, and don't really want to help promote in any way, shape, or form. There's silver colloidal, there's clear lungs, there's uh, I don't know a whole host of uh, stuff out there. But how do we as consumers? determine which ones are as good as they're cracked up to be because almost all of them are being presented as a uh, miracle health cure, in other words. Well, I know the colloidal silver is really good stuff. Uh, that That is excellent stuff. Um, but it's not a molecular compound, and that's what ribosine is. It's not a supplement. It's a molecular compound that helps all the supplements work. It gets into your, your system like you, you create that glutathione again and your body can really make whatever vitamin C, vitamin E, whatever you've got in your system, the B vitamins, whatever, work that much better. Like I said, you know, make, make it work better. So it is such an essential part. And what I wish is that we could get these, um, oh, health, um, oh, what am I trying to say? You know, when you go get your blood taken, that it be part of the medical um, system where you get tested for what your level of glutathione is. So you can judge 
how much this is helping. But unfortunately, here in Canada, it's a $300 bill to get that added to your medical, uh, you know, your write-up every year on your medical thing, your medical sheet as to how you're doing. I'm not sure. I don't have quite the right term. But, yeah, I mean, I want to know. I know my glutathione level is just off the charts again because I've got all this crazy energy. And it's wonderful. I don't feel nervous or anything like that. I'm not hyper. I just have a steady, sustained energy all day long. And most women 68 years old have grandma naps. I don't need to do any of that. (laughs) (laughs) No grandma naps here. I don't have time for that. I'm so busy and and so wonderfully excited about life. Can this step... um... And watching people slowly fade away, whether it was their health or dementia or Alzheimer's, and thinking, oh, my God, I wonder how I'm going to go, right? And to found this wonderful thing and to be able to say, that doesn't have to happen for me. I don't know what I'll eventually die with, but I don't think it'll be cancer, dementia. It'll probably be, God forbid, a car accident or something I don't really have that much control over. But health-wise, I don't see me going for a long time. Well, let me ask you this, uh, Georgia, real quick. Like, let's say you're like me and you got a lung that's just totally destroyed. It's nothing but scar tissue. There's no alveoli left. Uh, the whole thing is just a big old dead bag full of scars. Uh, mm. can something like that be regenerated? Uh, would the, uh, glutathione say like help the, uh, or this here pill help the glutathione in your system regenerate the uh, lung that was already dead or would it just help maintain something that wasn't too far gone now that i don't know but i do know it will boost the one lung that is really healthy and probably be enough to take over for both of them but the other lung that's really healthy is uh about 80 percent healthy it's 20 percent of it's also scarf tissue that that will probably lessen in that lung and the, the other part like your blood and all of that i would think over time you probably would start to form new lung tissue. That's, that's my guess. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor. But I do know whatever you do have will be boosted. And I've got to feel like, okay, my kidneys, right, weren't acting up to snuff, right? And that's why I was taking those water retention pills. Well, I've been taking, after the first month, I noticed that my kidneys were working just fine again. Just as good as ever before. I mean, I can go eight hours without going to the washroom, and then, oh, my God, I swear it's four cups of tea. <laughs> Forgive so, me for being close here. Because my body, my bladder can hold it. Um, I sleep straight through the night. I'm not getting up every three hours to go to the toilet. I mean, to be able to sleep eight hours straight and not be bothered with that one. I mean, every man out there over 40 has probably just got his ears open now because that's how it works. And Viagra? I mean, they're, they're taking a risk every time they use Viagra for heart failure. And to be honest with you, between you and me, no woman in her right mind wants to be pumped for eight out, four hours straight because somebody's <laughs> got to... Stab her to That's, death. <laughs> that is not sex for a woman. All you do is get mighty sore and look at the guys, really? You know, you want to be made love to and that's not being made love to. And having to comply for four hours a pound, 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 I don't think so. But when you take Celgevity, Max Infuse, and Max ATP, you naturally restore your male libido. libido? How do you say that word? Libido? I'm not spitting it. Libido? There we go. Libido, yeah. Yeah, libido. And you want to make love maybe two or three times a night, but it's natural. You're not forcing anything. And you're not going to die with a heart attack because your whole body is working at that level. You know how many marriages could be saved? (laughs) Oh, Lord. (laughs) Well, I wanted to ask you because we're almost out of time. We've got six minutes remaining. I wanted to find out real quick, like, if uh, how long does it take this stuff to start taking effect on you? Well, I found it in the first two weeks. Most people, it's two months. But it does happen. And, I mean, we've got a weight loss thing there that helps people naturally take off weight. It increases the metabolism, 
without increasing the heart rate or the blood pressure. And I mean, when you start doing that, you're up and you're active and the weight is just the fat's coming off. And fat, um, you know, it just, it just fades away. And it takes, for a woman, it's about three months. For a man, it's about two months. And the weight just comes off. You don't have to do any extreme dieting and you don't do any crazy exercising. It just comes off. Well, that sounds and like it, a winner. Yeah, because how many people are obese? And most of their health, well, for me, I took 30 pounds off. And I didn't even try. It just came off. I'm still in losing mode. It's still coming off. And it's coming off slowly so I don't have all the saggy skin and all that horrible crap. It's just slowly coming off. And it's it's amazing. Now, um, I, oh, go I ahead. Like I found it. I was going to say, we got like five minutes on this here remaining. Uh, my wife's going to be home from church pretty soon. Uh, we're going to join her and watch some TV. Uh, we're going to have criminal minds on tonight. However, while we're getting <laughs> up to that point, I wanted to ask uh, you if you had anything else you wanted to throw out there real quick, like before we run out of time. Well, as soon as I can, Royce, I'm going to see to it that you get a bottle of Celgevity. Are you allergic to anything that you know of? Mm, only maybe house mode. <laughs> okay, well, then we don't need to worry. As soon as I can... You're getting a bottle of it, and, um, you know, I want you to experience it. I want you to see what you think of it. Um, I'm just, you know, the first, I'll put it to you like this. If your audience cares about you, if they contact me, a certain portion of every bottle, and I'll send it to you, I'll email you at the same time, CC copy them, and we will build the money so that you can get it on a regular monthly basis. And that's a promise to you. These people that love you and care about you, they contact me. We're going to see you get on this. Well, i got to tell you, there's towards. people out there that's going to be listening to this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I'm serious. And you will know every email <laughs> I get because I will, and it's georgialoveauthor at gmail.com. You will get a CC copy for everybody that contacts me. In fact, I will send them a free book for every one of them that signs up with Max International with me, and you're going to be the person I'm going to uh, sponsor so that I can see that you get healthy because we bloody well need you. (laughs) Well, I appreciate that. Uh, With that one there, uh, I want to remind everybody, stop by and see me at Freedom Slips tomorrow, uh, freedomslips.com. I'm going to be interviewing Anthony Sanchez. It's been a while since he's been on my show. He's the author of UFO Highway, and he wants to do a little rehash of UFO Highway, but then he wants to talk about ghost steps, and that's tomorrow uh, at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and the show is a two-hour show. It'll go to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if y'all need a phone number to call in, uh, matter of fact, I know there's a lady listening right now. Uh, I'm probably going to overrun the show just a little bit here, but I'm going to go get her that phone number real quick so that she can have it to listen to the show tomorrow if she wants to, if she's available. Send it to me too, okay? And, uh, well, you can listen at the website, George. She has to listen at the phone, but I can give you the uh, phone number too if you like. It's, uh, I'm getting it right now. I should have it in just a second. I got to enter into the chat room and pull it off the top of the page. Well, I told it to load the chat room and it didn't do it. Oh, I know why. I had to load it in um, a different browser. It don't like Internet Explorer. It's Flash. I forgot about mm. that. Uh, well, just email us. Well, I don't have her email. I'm almost put, there. Just bear on your one Facebook. moment. Can uh, you put it on our radio Facebook or Royce Holdeman Facebook? Oh, I will be doing that tomorrow when I do the show. Good. Oh, wait. Here it is right here. Uh, listener, if you're still with us, the number for, I am. for over there is 347-688-2902. Uh, 
And in fact, come to think of it, I don't know why I went to all that trouble, because I'm going to use this same phone number <coughs> to call their server. <coughs> Pardon me. Hang on just a minute, folks. I'm sorry. Cough got a hold of me. Um, you should be able to call either the number you called to listen to this show tonight or the number I just gave you. Either one will get you into Freedom Slips, and you can hear their show through your telephone. And, Georgia, you got that number. I'll give it to you um, at, on Facebook as well. And you can also catch it at freedomslips.com. So if you all want to catch me over there, we'll be talking to Anthony Sanchez. We're going to talk about UFO Highway. I'm going to try to draw them into a little bit about uh, ancient aliens and ancient astronauts while we're at it. So looking forward to that. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. With that, I'm going to call this here a wrap, and it's exactly 8, so I'm actually right on time. Georgia, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it talking to you again. I always have a great show with you. Listener, I'm not familiar with you yet, but thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed the show. I did. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll put it to see you guys in the future. Y'all be good. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye.